All right, here's the new new circuit board I made. This is for six 200 amp MOSFETs, 100 volts. This is the new three phase bridge circuit board for my motor controller. And I figured out the design by actually drawing on a whiteboard. That's the mock-up of the board. Here's the actual board. And what you don't see on the board is these jumpers. And these are going to be uh, flat aluminum stock that uh, will carry the negative rail, which is the bottom rail here, up over the positive rail to these two connections, as in the drawing. And that'll give me a pretty easy to build circuit board for my motor controller. Here's the motor controller circuit board with the aluminum stock pre-cut. Still have to drill all the holes, the three phase connections, the negative connections that jump over the positive here, uh, positive rail, negative rail, and then P. Uh, that's also a negative rail. Uh, that's where the negative will be connected, and positive will get connected here. I have a bunch of the holes marked. I uh, taped all of the aluminum in place on the copper side, and then as you can see, you can, ah, as you can see from the blue marks around the holes, I used a blue permanent marker to. Uh, mark the holes onto the aluminum and now I'm going to go drill them out so that I can bolt it on. Got all the holes drilled in the aluminum. They'll line up nicely with the holes in the PCB and I just pop the capacitors on top. That's how they'll sit across the negative and positive rail just bolt down from the bottom side fairly large capacitors so I'll have 30,000 microfarads at 100 volts of course the system will be running at 60 always use less voltage than what the capacitors are rated for All right, I got all the bolts and the nuts for putting all the aluminum and, well, the wiring and so on together onto the power board. There's the capacitors. I have those kind of test bolted in just to see how they fit. And that's what the negative uh, kind of jumper, I guess, looks like. Goes over top of the positive rail probably start uh, soldering on the MOSFETs soon Right, got everything soldered in. All the MOSFETs are in there nicely. Made sure to be careful not to get any solder underneath the aluminum pads. Still have these positive legs. To solder and then the soldering is done. Oh, come on, focus. Uh, 
I just got these little boards made up. These are for the MOSFET drivers. So there's going to be one driver for two MOSFETs. And they'll sit right on top of the MOSFETs right there so that there's nice and short traces or connections to the driver between the MOSFET. Decreases the inductance on the drive circuit. Always a good thing. These are the drivers I'm using. They're uh, International Rectifier S2186. It's a 4 amp P current high and low side FET driver. It's a nice little IC. And that's where I'm at right now.